Hey guys, Chris Urquhart from Moto Development. I'm out here at QMP to shoot some how-to tips for MX TV, and we're gonna start off today with the slow ride, which is a clutch exercise. This exercise sounds easy, but when you get it right, it really unlocks your world to where you can take your dirt bike. Your clutch is one of the most important controls on a motorcycle, and when you get a good feel for the take-up point and where to use it and how to use it at the right time, it can be a huge benefit. Used in the wrong way can be a huge hindrance to your riding because you can be on and off the clutch at times when you're trying to get really good drive to the rear wheel. If you think about it, your clutch is a direct control to how much drive you've got to the rear wheel. So when you get comfortable with it, you can add or take drive away from the rear wheel by slipping the clutch rather than having to roll the throttle on and off all the time. To get comfortable with being really good with your clutch control use on your motorcycle, it's important to take that skill out and practice it in a really slow, controlled environment when that's all you've got to think about. We just practice this in a grass paddock here. You don't need a big track, you don't need a whole lot of land. You can practice it at slow speed, first gear, in three stages. Stage one to the slow ride is just getting a feel for the friction zone of your clutch. I want you to ride along with no throttle and just slowly slip the clutch in and out and get a really good feel for the take up point of the clutch. You wanna try and ride along as slow as you can just slipping the clutch, but without stalling the bike or letting the bike chug. To move on to stage two of the slow ride, you need to take what you've done in stage one, and now we're gonna try and slip the clutch a little more, but add a little bit of throttle to keep the engine in the really happy part of the power. You don't wanna stall the bike, but you also wanna try and ride slower, if that makes sense. So slip the clutch more, and just massage that throttle to keep the bike in the really happy part of the revs. It might take you a little while to get used to where the friction zone is of the clutch and how much throttle you need to, to not stall the motorcycle. But if you stall it a few times, no big deal. We're going super slow, put a foot down, start your bike and hit the reset button and go again. So stage three of the slow ride is combining stages one and two together, but now we're gonna throw a little bit of front brake in the mix to ride even slower. The ultimate goal of stage three is to ride really slow and come to a complete stop. I like to try and come to a stop for a second or two and then ride off smoothly. But then depending on how good you get at this, you might be able to stop and balance for three or four seconds, ride off smoothly without stalling the bike. That's the goal, to have ultimate control of the clutch and your engine and not stall the bike at all or put a foot down. This skill really will reflect in your riding when you get back out on the track. To wrap up the slow ride technique, it's so important to get this right and have a good understanding of the clutch on your motorcycle. When you're out on the track or trail or technical terrain, this clutch use will come into its own. You won't even realise until you're out there riding how much easier your riding becomes and how much quicker your lap times get. So work hard on getting this clutch control technique right, put it into practice and repetition is the key. The more you practice this, the better you'll get. Keep up the good work. <laughs>